Hey everyone, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In today's Master Your Tone episode, we'll talk about why one would choose a tube instead of a solid state amplifier. Short but very important disclaimer right at the beginning of this video. Uh, we're not bashing solid state amps here. Not all tube and, uh, and solid state amps are created equal. They're all different. There are gonna be great and not so great ones in both categories. And if you have a solid state amp that you love and does everything exactly the way you want it to do, you are 100% correct and just don't listen to me. Point number one, it's kind of funny to start with, but don't underestimate it. It's the looks. Most tube amps just look right for you to want to spend your money on them. If you have a solid state amp that's super practical and smaller and lighter and whatever, but it doesn't look like something you are proud of owning, it's kind of tough to convince yourself to spend your money on it. And this is funny, I know, this shouldn't be the thing, but it's definitely one of those factors that we guitar players, or a lot of us at least, do pay attention to and, um, and we're emotional creatures. If more solid state amps looked like, for example, the Orange Crush 100, I don't think this subject would be any relevant. Point number two is playing at higher volumes. As soon as you crank a tube power section or power amp, it just introduces that warmth, that cool saturation that a lot of us guitar players are looking for and that's not something that a solid state design is made for or can give you unless and of course we arrived again to exceptions unless the designer of the solid state amplifier fakes that saturation that that warmth kicking in which is definitely doable it's just not something that comes naturally with solid state amps Point number three is how you cut through a band mix. Tube amplifiers just have something about it. It's probably the mid-range, it's the type of compression that they, they usually share that really helps to cut through a mix. Uh, this is usually an issue with solid state, as told, there are exceptions of course, but just expect a tube amp to, to just work better in that context. Point number four is how tube amps react to overdrives, distortions and fuzzes. And don't get me wrong, it's not like every tube amp will sound great with overdrives and fuzzes and every solid state will not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just that it's much easier to find a tube amp that will sound great and natural with these kind of pedals compared to solid state amps. As mentioned, there are of course exceptions. For example, this Quilter Overdrive 202 sounds great with whichever pedal I throw at it.
And point number five is probably the biggest selling point for tube amps. It's that tube overdrive. If you're using the amp's own overdrive sound or distortion sound, that is just something that is really, really hard to recreate with solid state. Not that solid state is worse, it's just a different flavor. It's a little colder, more technical sounding, if that makes any sense. It's a different flavor, but of course, equally great. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you want to know about guitar rigs and what you find confusing about them. And with all that tone talk aside, what really matters is to enjoy playing the guitar regardless of the rig and how good it sounds. See you in the next one.